Sup YouTube, Visual Gaming Network, and welcome to episode 13 of our Mario game in Java tutorial. Last episode, we implemented collision detection into our game. This episode, we're going to add jumping and gravity into our game, the function that makes platforming games a platformer game. Alright, so I'm just going to go open up our project. I'm going to go into the entity class. I'm going to create three new variables. So one is going to be uh, public boolean jumping is equal to false. And public boolean falling will equal to true. Alright, and we're going to go and create a public double gravity equals 0, 0.0 so now we're going to go into our player class and this might sound a bit strange but we're going to uh, remove uh, if y is less than or equal to 0 then y is equal to 0 we're going to remove that and we're going to remove y plus equal to vel y alright and we're also uh, actually we'll keep this we'll keep the if get bounds bottom and if get bounds top methods for the collision detection but we're actually going to remove these all right and in our key input class we're going to remove case key event dot vkw in does it have y negative five we're going to type if if uh if uh jumping is equal to false then we're going to set entity dot jumping equal to true all right so now i'm going to go create a kind of like a floor for our player to walk and jump on so in our game we're going to remove handler dot add tile new wall and in our handler in our handler class we're going to create a new method and it'll be called create level so i'm going to type public void create level all right and we want to type, make a for loop for int i is equal to zero, i is less, and because our the width of our wall will be uh, 64 by 64 pixels, uh, we're going to divide the game uh, game dot width times game dot scale. My bad. Times game dot scale divided by 64 because as I said just before the width of our tile is 64 so now we're going to type I plus plus and in here we're going to type add tile new wall and we're going to type I times 64 actually I just remembered after game dot width times game dot scale divided by 64 we just want to add plus one so New wall i times 64, then game dot height, whoops, game dot height times game dot scale minus 64 because the height of our wall will be 64 as well. So now the width and height will of course be 64 and 64. Solid will equal to true, and the id will be id dot wall. All right, and there we go. Oh. Oh, and we also need to add handler into our constructor and because this class is a handler we'll just type this all right and we're actually going to create a constructor for our handler we're going to type public handler and in our handler constructor we're just going to simply type create level okay so now if we run our game as you can see uh, we can no longer if we press W or S we can't move left or we um, mean up or down, but we can still move left or right. So we're going to close. And we're going to go into our player class, and this is where uh, the gravity functions and falling functions will actually start to work. So after our for loop, we're going to type if jumping is equal to true, then gravity 
uh, we'll subtract 0 0.1 from gravity and then we're going to type zvel y minus gravity so it's pretty much the negative value of gravity so let's say if gravity was equal to 5.0 this will be the negative value of that so it's negative 5.0 and the reason we get an error is because when we set vel y we are actually setting vel y to an integer but we're trying to set vel y equal to a double which and this double is gravity so to sort of cast or turn gravity into an integer we're going before uh, negative gravity we're actually going to enter some brackets and we'll type int so what this will do this will cast or turn gravity into an integer or I don't know how it works I'm guessing it just rounds off gravity to the nearest integer well that's how I think it works so now we're going to type if gravity is less than or equal to 0, 0.0 then jumping is equal to false and falling is equal to true and why we type this is because when we first jump we'll be going up at full speed and because we subtract 0 0.1 from gravity every sort of frame eventually it will get slower and slower and slower until it's not any value at all so when that is it we're gonna set jumping into equal to false and falling equal to true so now under our if jumping if statement we're gonna type if falling gravity uh, we're gonna add 0 0.1 to gravity instead of subtracting and of course we're gonna set val y uh, int so remember cast it as an int then gravity alright so if we actually run our game as you can see our player starts to fall and the and uh, if you didn't realize the speed uh, gradually gets uh, higher and higher every time we fall but as you saw before uh, when our player hit the ground it automatically just fell through and to fix that we go to our if get bounds bottom dot dot get bounds method and if we type if falling is equal to true then falling is equal to false oops my bad equal to false and also I just remembered we're gonna actually remove the case key event dot vks and yeah we'll just pretty much remove and we're gonna make this whole line a method because we actually need to add another line of code so after en dot jumping is equal to true en dot gravity is equal to 10.0 so now if we run our game there you go our player falls in fine and now if we try to jump there we go you can see that it works fine so now in our create level method in our handler class we're gonna type if i does not equal to zero and whoops my bad and i does not equal to 1 and i does not equal to 16 and i does not equal to 17 then we're going to copy this and we're going to paste it but the only difference is our y coordinate will be 300 so now if we run it there we go you can see we create a little platform in the sky and there you go as you can see we jump on it but if we try to fall off as you can see we can't but we can actually jump and then we'll fall down and uh, yeah that is something we're gonna fix also if we try to jump and our head touches the uh, platform as you can see it, this weird glitch happens again like I made a mistake in the collision detection episode last week. Alright, so I'm going to fix the collision detection with the top of the player right now. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm just going to type, also type if. And I does not equal to 15. Let's make our platform a bit shorter. Alright, so in our player class, in our get bounds top dot intersect t dot get bounds method, uh, we're going to type if jumping, so if jumping is equal to true, jumping is equal to false, 
gravity is equal to 0, 0.0 and falling is equal to true. So now if we run that, if we, as you can see, if we try to bang our head on top of the ceiling, it doesn't do anything and we just fall back down. So now to fix the bug we have, if, if we walk off the platform, then it automatically starts falling down. So after our get bounds bottom collision detection method, we're going to type else, and in here we're going to type if, if falling is, isn't equal to true, and jumping isn't equal to true, then we're going to set gravity equal to 0, 0.0, and falling equal to true. So now if we run it, right, we'll try to go on top of the platform. And there you go, if we walk off the platform, you can see that we just fall back down fine. Alright, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment and subscribe. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. The next episode will be out in three days, I think. Okay, see you guys. Bye.